So, um, uh, having said that about your, your own background, um, who, who taught yourself, who, did you, how did you acquire these skills? Self-taught, self-taught. And then, believe it or not, when my children, as my children grew up, I remember saying to them, don't use two fingers like me, you know, and, and use the full range. And, and children and human people teach themselves now, don't they? And they're fantastic. You know, it used to be a skill to be able to type. Now it's a, it's a normal kind of everyday thing that every child does uh, as a normal part of day-to-day -day, day -day -day life. Um, so following on from that, the, the project is, is following uh, a teaching belief called uh, EduPunk, um, which is a form of self-learning. Uh, um, if I was asked the, the first question about that term, the word punk, what, 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 does that, what kind of images does that solve in, well, in your it, mind? Well, it threw me, didn't it? So, of course, my view was the Clash and Sex Pistols and, and the kind of red and black uh, anti-establishment, God save the Queen, and we won't say the rest of it. But it, it's that kind of uh, era that I was brought up in, so that was the punk I thought. But when I did some research for this and saw Eddie Punk on there, uh, on Google and things, I think it's an, a real opportunity for learning, for, for mass learning in a completely different way. Something that was new to me that I'd never come across and, uh, and listening to what you were saying this morning, I hope it kind of takes off because it, it kind of looks like a, a real innovative way of, of, of getting people learning new skills. So in terms of um, a student's employability, um, would you think that kind of approach could be, could be beneficial? Yes, I do. And I, and I think, um, let's remember, qualifications are important but you get to sit down in an interview with someone, that's when you can uh, dictate whether you get the job or not. It's about that interaction, that ability to kind of convince someone that you're the right person for the job. Because if you do that, uh, you've got to the point of interview through a qualification. After that, it's your performance on the day with that person and making that relationship with the person who's interviewing you. And then the, the final question, um, you mentioned yourself about you know, how you... I, I presume you feel how, how significantly your job has changed from when you started work. Um, has this kind of process, is it um, becoming, I don't know, is, is the process development becoming quicker? So, for example, over the last 10 years or, you know... It, 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 there's massive changes going on in the probation service. Um, when you think that we used to work and deal with people on a one-to-one -one contact, that ability to form a relationship with someone, and now we're talking, in the digital age, we're talking about biometrics. We're talking about people going into booths, putting a finger uh, to, to identify themselves through their fingerprint. Uh, voice recognition schemes where people talk to a, um, a camera just like this um, and then and press a button to say, um, have you got any problems today? Yes or no? And, and if they say yes, it goes on another screen. What are your problems? And it'll go through a set of risk assessments. Alcohol, drugs, press the button. It says... Uh, so, what is your alcohol dependency? How many reunions did you have today? Between one and ten, etc., etc. And it will go through a process that we would normally have on a, on a discussion. It's doing it digitally. And what I, I was kind of thinking what we'd look like in the future, and I thought we could have a digital thing like this, me talking to this camera with a lie detector attached to my, to my hand. <laughs> and when that came up and it said to me, um, did you drink last night? And I say, no, it goes, do, 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 do. whereas really, I did have a drink last night, so um, mm -hmm. they would know it was lying. And then maybe that's the default position where then a probation officer, or you, you, the default is electronic, and if you answer it wrong and the lie detector shows something, then you end up going and seeing a probation officer. And that's just me kind of speculating about the digital age, and I guess we all have visions of what's going to come. That's not an age I want because I believe strongly in that relationship between the offender and the probation officer uh, is the thing that will change someone's lives. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Phil.